Now I will show you how to recover from a bricked or dead state oscilloscope uh, if you play too much with the former upgrade and downgrade and something went wrong you will be able to recover your oscilloscope is never too much to warn you that before doing anything that uses the, the fail modes uh, you should go here to utility system info and take a picture of this um, data in the screen or just write it down because you probably will lose this information and will have to recover it later okay without further ado let's start to be able to recover from a bricked or dead state oscilloscope you're gonna need the platform tools that again you can find in david alpha posts on evv blog just drill down to where it says recovering and you'll have there um, at the moment of the recording of this video four uh, different points of recovery being the last one the firmware version fw3202 released on july 26th of 2021 just click the link of that version to download the file from david alpha google drive and as usual unzip it to a folder on your system and we are ready to go after downloading the platform tools and unzipping it to a local folder you will have all these files uh, on your folder uh, before proceeding and showing uh, how to use these uh, platform tools to recover your oscilloscope we have to install several programs uh, i want to show you that we, you have here the phoenix suite uh, Chinese version MSI and also the Zadig 2.5 executable uh, this file we already use it on the point two of this video where uh, to recover or to backup and recover your firmware so if you didn't uh, saw it maybe you should go back and saw how you can configure and install the drivers using this application and we have also here a readme english file let's open this file and see what uh, we have to do the readme file is a word file that has several instructions for you to follow the first one is to install the phoenix suite application and after they show you where to press the file button the install the driver with the Zadig application to check it and also you have to run a small uh, command on the uh, DOS command line but don't worry I will guide you through this process and uh, you will also have here um, a screenshot of the process after this uh, recovery is done by the fail mode you, the oscilloscope will automatically uh, reboot and after half an hour you should do a calibration offset okay so let's do this as mentioned on the readme file let's start by uh, installing the phoenix suite in terms of the phoenix suite install it's pretty straightforward just press on the right button it will take a few moments uh, to install not much it will start uh, stay here for a moment it ask you uh, administration permissions and then it will continue the install when asked to install a second driver just uh, follow the normal procedures to conclude the installation and that's it we have the phoenix suite installed next part is to install the windows driver using the zadig application i already showed you how to do it on the backup and recover part of this video but anyway in a quick reminder just connect the usb cable to the oscilloscope turn it around and using the paper clip press the fail button and turn the oscilloscope on okay I think it is that's it now just uh, run the Zadig application 
in the instructions it says that you have to copy uh, well this command to the DOS command line but in reality this might be uh, outdated because if you notice the contents of the CMDS bat that you will run next it already have that command uh, here in the first line so what we need to do next is just run the CMDS bat with the oscilloscope in fail mode so let's do this as you can see after double clicking the batch file a DOS console appears and the oscilloscope starts with uh, one third of the screen in a white list it takes only a few minutes I speed up this to, to make it faster and after it finish the oscilloscope automatically uh, will uh, reboot and start over again okay it booted up so it seems to be working okay it's have the two channels let me let me just turn it around okay let's see here in the utility what we have okay system info very nice as you can see it has already the version and also the firmware version but as you can see the model serial and hardware information disappeared from the configuration that's why I told you before to save the, that information with a photo or anything else so that's what we are going to fix next well at this moment don't forget to disconnect the USB cable on the back of the oscilloscope and get the USB drive with the a firmware to upgrade the oscilloscope just insert the, the USB drive go to utility use the update he didn't recognize the USB drive yet just a moment okay we have now we can press update update firmware and I already have in here uh, let me see yeah let's go to the last one the 3204 firmware press start and it will take a few moments to update i think it will not take uh, much time let's see it's almost 100 okay very nice let's uh, power off the oscilloscope remove the usb drive power it on again and let's try to see if we have the latest firmware in the oscilloscope just a second okay utility again it takes a while to everything starts utility system info yeah and right now I have here the latest firmware 3204 uh, still have the version of the software from July last year 2021 so let's connect the pen again and update to the latest software version we have to wait again software device is connected update firmware and I have in here the latest version from February start update this will take also a few moments while the system is updating uh, let me show you uh, the, the versions of the firmware and software that I'm using for the firmware I used the version 3204B204 this is available again on David Alpha post on EVV blog that will upgrade your firmware version to 3204 and I also use the latest version also available on Handtech website of the software from uh, February 10 2022 
So you should download both these files and put it on a USB drive to upgrade your oscilloscope. Okay, it's updated. Again, let's power it off, remove the USB drive and power it up again to see if we have the latest firmware. It's powering up, just a second, yeah. Okay, we have hardware, let's see if utility works, yeah. Right now we have utility and let's see the system info. Okay, so we have in here the software is right now the, the version from February 2022. It's the version 1.02.0.0 and the firmware is the 3204. Very nice. So only missing to, fi to fix this the values that are not in the oscilloscope. Let's do this now. To correct the model serial and hardware that is undefined right now, you go again to the David Alpha blog post and drill down to the part it says mods. You will have to download two files. Let's start by the script launcher, that is the software that will allow you to do that uh, operation. While this downloads, let's go here. Okay, and also we will need the scripts. And in the scripts, let's download the do other update. Okay, download. Okay, and that's it. Now, on the folder in your PC, you have two files that is dso3kb do other update upk and also a text file uh, do other update this has to be renamed so i'm gonna do it right away and now i will edit this file so this is the file you have to edit as you can see it's pretty simple to edit you have the model number the serial and the pcb uh, version so in the model number, I will correct this to 2D10, that's my oscilloscope model. And in here, I will put my serial number. As you can see, if you wish to upgrade, and I'm not telling you to do so, uh, you can update your model number using this process also. So I will put here my serial number and save this file to finish this recovery process, to finish just select the, these two files and send them to your USB drive. Okay, let's copy it, let's move on. Okay, to finish this, let's connect here to USB drive. Wait a moment, so it will recognize. I think I have an issue with USB right now that previously I didn't have. I have to fix this. Let's come to Utility, update, update firmware, and right now we should have here the other update. Okay, just press start update. It shouldn't take long. Yep. Restart. So let's power it off. Take the USB drive off and power it on again. It may take a, a little. Okay, it's initializing. Let's see. Utility, take the sound off and system info. And right now I have all the information updated and I'm also using the version 3204 of the firmware. I still have this issue here with the USB. It's still it's saying that is connected uh, in the back when it isn't. I have here the the plug. So I think uh, there is a fix on the David Alpha uh, blog also to fix this USB problem. Let's do it. 
let's look here in the post i think uh, there is here uh, yeah a usb fix i'm gonna do the downloads of this file also to check if it solves my problem with the usb so again i have here the software let's see if as you can see it has this annoying plug icon there I'm waiting only to see if the drive is detected. Let's see. It takes a while sometimes. I don't know why. Okay, here it is. So update, update firmware. And let me check. Yeah, USB fix. Let's install this. Start update. I think this should be also be quick. Okay, here it is again let's power it off take this out power it on and we should be okay for now everything is updated and only missing a quick test so right now i don't have any more the the icon everything seems to be working okay let me plug the socket yeah i I connected the USB uh, plug in the back and the icon is here. Let me just take it out and it's off. So it seems to be okay. We just need now to do a uh, calibration. Okay, it's calibrated. So to end this, let's just see if everything is okay. I have already here a 100 megahertz signal. Seems to be working okay. Yeah. Let's see if the offset problem is solved yeah it seems it is okay take it back to the center now back to the bottom yeah and everything seems to be working second channel so ah <laughs> with the second channel this seems much more smooth the line that's curious i don't know why second channel also is working okay we don't have the usb problem anymore yeah it seems that finally everything is working as it should if you guys want me to test this again with all millivolt uh, values and uh, all the the tests i will do it just leave in the comments uh, requesting that if this video was useful to you please give a big thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and if you do don't forget to hit that bell and activate all notifications to be the first one to be notified whenever i post a new video that's it for today stay safe and i hope to see you in my next video cheers